The benefit of ground effect using a cushion of air beneath a wing that's flying close to the surface is well known, especially to birds. Back in the 1950s, the Soviet Union developed a range of extraordinary looking ground effect craft. The Caspian Sea Monster was 100 metres long and could do 400 knots. Today, composite experts Moore Brothers are involved in a company called Regent, Regional Electric Ground Effect Nautical Transportation, that works on a similar principle but adds hydrofoils into the equation. Moore Brothers in Bristol, Rhode Island were commissioned to build a quarter-scale remotely operated demonstrator. It's an impressive machine with an 18-foot wingspan that uses lift from the hydrofoils to get airborne more efficiently. Regent already have orders for full-size versions for both a 12-passenger version called the Viceroy and a 100-passenger vehicle called Monarch. Both are fully electric and will have a range of 160 nautical miles. The first one is planned for launch in 2025. Minimalist, understated, with slightly classical looks is how her designer and builder describe her. Given some of the current extreme styles, I can see where they're coming from. But for the most of us, the Makara 83 is still modern, but elegant too. This new 83 footer is the product of a collaboration between two of the big names in the industry, designer Malcolm McKeon and McConaughey Boats. Makara's size is a key part of her design. Sitting just below the 24 metre mark, she avoids many of the costs associated with rules and regulations that come into play for larger yachts, while her overall length puts her at the top of the Mini Maxi 2 fleet. At the moment, there are very few optimised cruiser racers in this size range, so for anyone who fancies racing, the chances of getting clear air at the front of the fleet are pretty good. Below decks, you can describe her as you wish, but just look at that view. The Class 40 scene is continuing to develop at a rapid pace. Not only are the shapes becoming ever more radical, but the details you can't see are changing too. Aurelien Ducroz won the World Championships last year in his Mark Lombard design Cross Call 2, which was both faster and lighter than predicted. The skipper puts this down to her builders, Grand Larg Composites and Sikamin, who supplied nearly all the materials. Crosscall also incorporates 50% flax content in areas such as the cockpit, ballast tanks and other non-structural parts. The hull was moulded and infused in one piece using Sikkiman's structural epoxy system, which has been designed specifically for this process. The deck, including the cockpit, was also infused as a single part. Interestingly, for boats number two and three, the better than expected performance has meant that the weight distribution has been changed slightly as a result. I guess a world championship title in a fiercely competitive fleet made the decision easier too. Carbon spars have become commonplace in the racing scene, but there's still a fair bit that separates various manufacturers when it comes to production. Seldon's system differs significantly from many others in that prepreg fibre is wound around an aluminium mandrel. The process is computer controlled, which is very accurate, and it is this, along with a process that is very cost effective, that has been so appealing to builders of one design classes. Accuracy and repeatability mean that weights and bend characteristics are consistent and it was these factors that were so appealing to the builders of the new 30-foot Far X2. They knew that being able to tailor the mast's structural characteristics to a specific sail plan and then repeat the process accurately was exactly what they're after for their new 30-footer. And as a former mast maker, I wouldn't disagree. If you were planning to simulate the working environment for a new winch, you probably wouldn't expect to have to build a test facility over several floors. But that was precisely what Harkin did, in order to create their state-of-the-art test laboratory in their Italian factory back in 2006. 
More recently in Wisconsin, USA, another Harkin lab facility has just introduced a test bench for cylinders and vangs capable of pulling up to 120 tonnes. There's also a test bench for rotary pumps, plus dedicated facilities for other types of hardware. Traveller car and track designs have also come under the spotlight as a result of the high loads, speeds and frequencies that are required on large foiling yachts. Little surprise then that many of the top teams are using the Harkin Labs to validate systems before they're fitted to their own projects. The clothing market has always been fiercely competitive and now there's a move towards more technical clothing, particularly in the racing scene. And this arena has seen the recent return of one of the big names, Slam. The Italian company is now led by the Italian sailor and tactician Enrico Chieffi, who's taken the brand back to the heart of racing. From offshore to oppies and Olympic classes and everything in between, the company has taken a hard look at what's required when it comes to delivering results on the racecourse. In many cases, they've gone back to basics to reassess what's required from the ground up. But among the long list of developments and changes in their new range, their custom collection is a bold call. Here, their wetsuits are tailored to fit individual sailors, both male and female. It's a bespoke service in a niche area of the business that also underlines Slam's determination to mark the return to a very competitive market. Combining theory with practice is as much an art as it is a science, and nowhere is this more the case than in sail design. Over the years, UK sailmakers have invested heavily in leading edge sail design software applications by working with BSG developments. The most commonly used product among their 50 lofts is Sailpack. The software allows designers to configure a virtual mold onto which they can overlay and create sail panel layouts. From there, they can look at the fluid structure integration by using Sailpack FSI, an advanced system that allows layers of detail to be added. The process starts with creating a model of the boat, rig and sail plan. Further detail is added to allow designers to see the real flying shape and how it changes with a wide variety of real-life trimming options. As well as designing the sails, detailed guides on how to set them and the boat up in real life can be created for owners to help crews put theory into practice. 